So we just got back from Hawaii and I really wanted to try a macadamia nut latte because they were all over the place. But I always asked what was in them and it was just like macadamia nut syrup. So I decided to come back, try making my own and I've definitely perfected it. This is really awesome and it's actually really simple. There's definitely more complex ways to make this but for me like coffee in the morning, I need it to be less than a 10 minute process or else I'm not doing it. Here's what we're doing. Coconut oil, 10 ounces worth of coffee, some stevia, some macadamia nuts, and a little bit of almond milk. You can also just use water. We're gonna start with a tablespoon of coconut oil and we're actually gonna throw it in a little saucepan here. Just take a handful of macadamia nuts. You can weigh them out if you want, but I'm gonna do like five or six, five or six big ones like that. And we're gonna toast these in the saucepan medium heat for about three minutes. You just want the macadamia nuts to be lightly toasted and this is really a key step in my opinion. It makes the entire flavor of the final latte. While the macadamia nuts are toasting, we're gonna get a half a cup of almond milk and then to that, we're gonna add about 10 drops of stevia. That'll make it nice and sweet. Once the macadamia nuts and the coconut oil is done, we're gonna add it to this and we're gonna blend it and that will make the cream mixture. And you can also make this ahead of time if you wanna make like a double or a triple batch just to have for the week. That could be a good option too. Okay, so once your macadamia nuts are just lightly toasted, you got the tablespoon of coconut oil in there. That's pretty much what you're looking for. We're gonna add that to the almond milk here. And then we're just gonna blend this all together. And there's still gonna be some chunks of macadamia nuts in it that will sink to the bottom, but that's fine. But for the most part, you really get the toasted macadamia nut flavor all throughout this. And that is what you're left with. And that looks beautiful, doesn't it? You can also add the coffee into the blender with this mixture. That's probably the best way to do it, but you don't get a cool pouring shot when you do it that way. And honestly, it stays mixed pretty well, even though there is some oil in there. So I'm gonna give this a try, and it's phenomenal. But you do have to chew your coffee when you make it like this, for sure. There's definitely chunks of macadamia nuts in it, which I like. The macadamia nut flavor just goes throughout the entire coffee. It's nice and toasty. Give this a try. Just change up your bulletproof coffee. This is a great way. You're not adding a ton of carbs, a ton of protein. It's pretty much still purely fat, except for the little trace amounts that are in macadamia nuts. So other than that, this is just a really good bulletproof coffee alternative. It is dairy free. So if you're trying to do that, this is a great option. Give it a try guys. The national drink of Hawaii. I don't think that's true, but make it anyway.